Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm back here today on the 347. I've separated the 347 pistons from rods, as you see, as I have them numbered. And I'm going to show you what's going on, what's going in. I'm hooking the customer up. This is a four or $500 rod set, brand new, never used. 347. Now look, I had another set of rods, and the rods ended up being... The pinhole size was different. It was like this size. Very small. You see it has play in it? Well, maybe you didn't see that. It was a smaller pin. See that? So I had to get rods with bigger pins at this point. The the ID hole that goes to the piston, this goes through it, and the spiral locks on both sides. Now I'm going to show you something that I'm a little concerned with. I have you locked up rod to rod there's the forged i beam there's the h beam the forged h beam now i don't know if you can see this but if you look down from a side view you see how this comes down a little bit more than the i beam now wide ways doesn't look any different see out this way the HB might be a little bit wider, but I'm worried about cylinder clearance on the notch with these longer I-beam or H-beam rods with the way this ARP comes out the end. So I'm worried that, hey, now that I've done this rod swap, gave him a new pair of rods from a, a used forge I-beam rod, that, as you can see, the clearance here is going to be a little bit further down. So I'm worried about that notch and cylinder clearance on this. Um, so I'm about to press it in, or not press it in, but push it in with a pin and uh, put the spiral locks on both sides. And now I'm worried, hey, if I do all this, what happens when I do all this and I bang it in and lock it in in one cylinder and before I do the next piston I turn it and boom it catches the cylinder well then I gotta back it out take the piston and crank off or take this rod out and then figure out back into the same boat I'm in now so I'm a little nervous about that and this has been a pain in the butt to swap to get the exact one and I already had a set so I figured I'd show you the the woes of building motors and the concerns and things you do when you build these stroker motors. The stuff's got to be right. You know what I mean? You just can't throw it together and take a chance. So like, subscribe, and share, and keep on dreaming.